Breedy McKay here, bite size for you all today. On feeling down, I am concerned about the monotony and the rut that people are in trying to work from home continuously. And I know it's not easy. But what I also know is you are the only one that can manage the outcomes of this. And you can learn how to manage your mind in lockdown. And I have actually, I don't think it's ever been as important as it is right now because lockdown is going to continue working from home on a constant basis is going to continue. So the only answer is get better at understanding how to manage your mind. And, and if COVID has taught us nothing else, imagine if we all come out of COVID and lockdown with new skills and we understood how to master our own minds. Wouldn't that be amazing? So what happens every day is if you worry and if you think and you dwell about dwell on some of the pieces you've heard in the news and you're thinking about next year and you're starting to worry about when will you ever get on a holiday? When will your life ever become normal again? Whatever that was. Um, what you're doing is your thoughts will then result in emotions. So if you are thinking sad things, if you're worrying about the future, worry is a real big one. You will have down emotions. You will feel down in yourself. You'll feel sad. And if you keep that going, you feel worse and worse and worse. And it takes days then to get you back out of it. So my challenge today for you all is to consciously decide what it is you're thinking. Now that sounds odd and I'm sure it sounds voodoo to many, but it absolutely is how you work. So the thoughts you allow in there are what will come out in your emotions. Your thinking becomes your feeling. So if you allow thoughts into your mind, and remember we have a negativity bias, so we will do this so easily, we won't even know we're doing it. And we will be thinking and worrying about stuff around probably lockdowns, COVID, future, career, everything, and God knows what else. But when you start to do that, your mind takes off in a swirl of negative thinking, which works for it because you've got a negativity bias. But what it does is emotionally, it'll make you feel sad. It'll make you feel down. And that is a dangerous place to be when you're working from home and we are worrying about isolation for so many people at home. So today, what you're going to do for me is you're going to take back the reins. You're going to take the steering wheel and you are going to become the gatekeeper of your thoughts. It's not something you've probably done a lot of. For many people, they've thought a certain way for their entire life. And they've never been trained to do this. But I'm telling you now, I want you to try this because I think we are back to the wall here, folks. COVID's sticking around for a while, it would seem. We need to learn this stuff. Never. It has never been more important. So today, what you're going to do for me, you're going to start small and you're going to start trying to catch your thoughts. You're going to. The first trick on this is self-awareness. You've got to become aware of the thoughts that you're allowing in there. You need to do that first. That's the first thing, right? Then you've got to figure out where did them thoughts come from? Was it the news that you heard that? Or was it something you had in a conversation with someone that triggered a thought? And is that swirling since? And has that then been added to by other things that you've been worrying about that are unrelated perhaps? Anyway, you've got to figure out what it is you've let in there. And you've got to then start replacing those negative thoughts. You've got to start focusing on silver lining in your situation right now. What have you learned this year? What have you done that you hadn't done before? Where were you when you were pushed out of your comfort zone? Have you engaged in all of that yet? Have you more that you could do there? Is there a bit more to explore there for you? Because COVID has presented opportunities, but if you're busy in the worrying cycle um, and the negative thinking cycle, you're not even going to see them. And you're not going to actually do what you could do with this period of time in your life. Um, so there is loads of ways we can think. If you're letting your mind do whatever it wants, best of luck. You need to pull the reins, get into the driving seat, and you need to decide what you're thinking about. All right. You need to be self-compassionate. You need to take care of yourself, be kind to yourself and start finding what's good about your life. What's good about what is happening in the world right now. What are we learning? Like this is a massive period of change, no matter what facet of life you look at. 
So there are so many different lenses we could use instead of the one that we default to, that we're trained to use from our conditioning. So today, you need to try and do something different today. You need to get master that mind. You now are gatekeeper for thoughts. That's it. I can advise you how to do this. I can't do it for you. And there's doing in this. I don't want anybody overthinking this. I don't want you thinking about how you could or could not do this. I just want you doing it. Skip all the overthinking and just do. Straight to thoughts. Spot your emotions. Trigger, work them back into what thoughts am I running here? What have I been thinking about? What am I worrying about? What has been going through my head? What have I been probably focused with or maybe overwhelmed with for the last little while? That's the clue. So then you need to start changing that. So the feed in becomes the emotion out. So you need to change the feed in. And I know this is probably going to be a bit weird for a while, but I don't care. It works and you need to do it. We should have been all taught this years ago when we were kids, but we weren't. And I'm teaching you it now because I've done it. And I know how this works. This will absolutely change your emotions and your feelings. I can, I can guarantee it. So you need to do the work on this. Start tuning in. What are you thinking? What are you worrying about? What's going around in that head? And start into the bin with that stuff because that is going to cause you problems. Trust me. And we have enough problems. So into the bin with all that negative thinking, all of the worry, just stick it in the bin because worry is a wasted emotion. It's going to do nothing for you at all. What will help you is learning how to control your mind, learning how to change your feed, thinking about positive things, thinking about what's good, thinking about what you could do instead of what you can't do. Loads of stuff that you could be at instead of what you do be at. So today you're going to start figuring what you could be at that would actually help you grow and would help you develop or it would challenge you or help you out of your comfort zone. And that's what you're going to do today instead. Let me know how you get on.